Hammond is treating us to some real firework. And another. Hammond treating the bowling with contempt is 98. He's cut that one round the leg. A running two for him. Hammond's got his century. Well played. On Hammond getting his century, Jardine has declared that England's first innings closed. At 416 for four wickets. It's just 12 o'clock on the second day of the test. Here come England, out the field, and in a very comfortable position. The New Zealanders have got their backs to the wall now, and they're coming in the bat on a fast-drying wicket. J.E. Mills and G.L. Weir are the New Zealanders' opening pair. T.C. Lowry seems to be the only man not afraid of the English bowling. Allen is sending down some wonderful expresses. He's just taken two wickets and two overs. They can't stop him. Oh, well bowled, sir. And he's got another one. That's the first three wickets to his credit. Lowry looks like getting set. No, he's out. He flicked at one and Jardine's held it in the slips. Still, he scored a fine 62. Well, the New Zealanders' first innings has closed for a total of 193. So they follow on faced with the task of having to score 223 runs to avoid an innings defeat. J. Mills facing Brown. Got him! That's Brown's first wicket in this innings. Things are looking bad for the New Zealanders. They got five wickets down for 143 runs. T.C. Lowry, their skipper, just having been dismissed for a duck. J. O'Carr has just come in, and here he is now facing people. Things are looking worse and worse for New Zealand. They're six wickets down now. And they want 61 runs to avoid the innings defeat. And England's bowlers are really putting down some good stuff now. People's just bowling. James. Swiped at it and clean missed it. Well hit, sir. J.L. Carr scored a boundary off the last three balls. Well played. J.L. Carr is facing Tate. Oh, clean bowled him. Good old Morris. We're getting near the end now. New Zealanders are seven wickets down. Still won 34 runs to avoid the innings defeat. Merritt facing Tate. There's another one. Stood in front of his wicket, LBW. That's the end. There goes the last wicket, and England wins the test match by an innings and 25 runs. The crowds are streaming across the pitch to congratulate various members of the English team, but there isn't a great deal of demonstration as we usually have at these test matches. In fact, they're all very quiet.